Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have cat hair in my eye lashes as usual. Um, I thought I would do like a little holiday preview, I guess, because I did purchase one of the new Sephora Favorites kits for holiday. Um, I love these kits, as you know. Um, the last one I did, I waited way too long to film the video and then it wasn't available anymore. So that's why I really want to get this one up because you never know with these things. Um, so this is the Sephora Favorites Sparkly Clean, Sparkly Clean set. Clean at Sephora Beauty Must Haves, it says. And I have to say I love that they put them in these bags. So they have a few different sets. The other ones I feel like I already own too many products in them, but there is some really good ones. But this one had a lot of things that I want to try. And I think, yes, there is one product that I have already, but I like it. So it's the Kosas um, Clear Brow Gel. So yeah. Let's just get into this. I also love this color. This is like um, the color I'm really drawn to right now, especially like for holiday. I feel like this and like a deep like burgundy are going to be really nice this uh, winter. <laughs> Not that I know anything about fashion, but I just like colors like this. And I love these kind of bags that are like squishy. This feels like uh, like a winter coat. I guess that was, you know, what they were going for, considering it's a holiday kit. So let's open it up. So inside, everything is just loose, like that. Um, so let's just pull out random things. So this product, I feel like it's a little random to be in this kit um, because it's a toner, from what I understand. It's from Freck Beauty. It's the Cactus Water. It's a, um, you know, deluxe size, not a full size. It says it's a cleansing lactic, a cleansing lactic acid toner. So I've seen this on Sephora and it did intrigue me. I think just the packaging <laughs> really gets me. And like Freck Beauty in general, they just have like a good marketing, I don't know something draws me in um so it's just a little mini but it's a glass bottle and oh there's a seal on here but it looks like yeah like an essential oil dropper where it's on, like only going to disperse a few drops of the product obviously i'm not going to try this today because it's a toner and i already have foundation on which i'm not loving <laughs> I'm also filming a first impressions and wear test of a foundation, which you will have seen before this video. So you'll know what it is. Um, yeah, it's not looking so good. <laughs> anyway, that's the cactus water toner. Then this is the product I own already, the Kosas Air Brow in Clear. Um, it's just one of these little you know, brow gels. Um, I don't remember, I know I like this, but I don't remember why. <laughs> I'm just, you know, rotating through so many things and th it's been a while since I used the one I have already. But I can use that today. I just won't open that one since I already have it. Um, there's another mascara in this set. They usually throw in a mascara. This one is from Rose Pink and it's called the ultra black lash lift serum mascara so it sounds kind of cool i do like a lifting mascara um so i think i'll try that today even though i just opened a new mascara but anyway it's fine it's just a mini <laughs> then we have a cali ray glazed and infused plumping glassy lip trip that's a long name, in the shade Taco Tuesday. I don't think this is a full size. No, it's not. I mean, it looks like a full size, but it doesn't say, like the products that are full size, it tells you on the packaging. So the Kosas Airbrow was a full size, by the way. So this, yes, 
No burn plumping lip gloss. Okay, that could be fun. So usually in like a no burn plumping lip gloss just means it doesn't have like that tingling feeling, but it plumps your lips because the formula is like, you know, smooth and like line filling. In, in the past, that's what I found, but we'll have to see with this one. But there are two um, lip products in this kit and this like is the product I think really sold me on the kit because I have two of these Merit um <sighs> Merit signature lip lightweight lipsticks I have two in my loves list neither of them were this shade but I do think I'm gonna like this shade especially for the fall season it's the shade L'Avenue like the avenue um, and it's like a deep, rich, mm, reddish brown. And this packaging feels very luxe. Like it is plastic, but it's like a thick, maybe like acrylic. And yeah, I just really like the look of these. It smells, I don't know what it smells like. Maybe like a little sweet. But it doesn't, it's not like a MAC or like a vanilla cake kind of smell like some lipsticks are. So I'm very excited about this. And the last product, I'm pretty sure this was also on my loves list. But then I was like, you need to stop buying cream blushes. <laughs> but when they come in Sephora favorites kits, it doesn't count, right? So this is from Say. This is a full size. So was the lipstick from Merit, obviously. Was a full size. But this is the Say Beauty Dew Blush Liquid Cheek Flush in Chili. And I do have one of these already. It's in the shade Poppy. And I remember liking that. But it's that shade is very vibrant. It's like a reddish coral if I remember correctly. This one is more muted it seems like a mauvey pink but it looks really fun. So I'm very excited about this too. So overall I think that's a cute little set. It would be nice as a gift too. Um, yeah I just love this bag also. <laughs> I like that they put them in bags instead of those big like boxes that you just like have to recycle right away. So yeah, this was by the way $42 US or $57 Canadian. But it's a the value is $124 US or $144 Canadian. So yeah, that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's a good price for three full-size products, I think. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Makeup is getting very expensive. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's put this, well, as much of this on my face as I can. All I have on is the foundation. I didn't even use a primer because I'm testing the foundation and a lip balm. Um, so let's try the... Uh -oh. Okay, I just dropped the Kosas airbrow, but that's okay because I'm not going to use it. Um, I'm not going to use that one because I have it already. Let's try the Glaze and Infuse Plumping Glassy Lip Trip, but I am going to wipe my lip balm off because I think what happened in my last video is I applied too many I was like swatching different lip products and by the end like everything became gummy and I'm I think that's what happened but just to avoid any of that let's put this on and test the shade Taco Tuesday. Oh, it is, again, one of these squeezy plastic tubes, which is not my favorite, as I've mentioned before. I feel like it can get messy. And you have to like, make sure you don't, you know, pump out too much. I just prefer like a doe foot applicator. So 
So that's the shade, Taco Tuesday. This feels very like slippy. It's not sticky, but it's also not thin. Like it's not like a lip oil. Um, yeah, it does, and it's not doing any plumping effect like it said it said no burn. Plumping glassy lip trip. It is very shiny. So I can see why they called it glassy. Yeah, this is pretty shade. I feel like I can wear this even when I'm not wearing makeup because it's basically like the same shade as my natural lip color. But that was the glazed and infused lip gloss from Cali Ray. Yeah, it feels nice. It feels like a lip balm actually. Like it's very balmy. Okay, so let's leave that on while we do whatever else we can <laughs> here. So um, I'm gonna go in with the blush. Yes, and I don't remember how I like to apply these say blushes and I don't remember how pigmented they are. So I'm gonna start off small because if this is anything like the Rare Beauty, uh, yeah, we're gonna be here all day blending. <laughs> so, okay, let's try it with the brush that I always use for cream blush, um, the e.l.f. Airbrush Stipple. I don't, I think this was discontinued. I don't know why, because it's so good. But I'm gonna try this. Oh. Okay, that's not, not as pigmented as I thought it would be. So we can probably build it up. Yeah, on me this is like a deep mauve. But I feel like it would probably work for a lot of different skin tones because of that. Like it's not like a you know, like a white based pink or anything. I like it. Should I put more? Let's just see. I did just put like a dot, as you saw, and the doe foot is huge. So I imagine if you just swiped it, like you would get a lot, <laughs> a lot of product on your face. And let's put a tiny bit there. But it is blending out really seamlessly with a brush. Oh, if you don't stab yourself in the eye. Yeah, that's a nice, like, I call these neutral blushes because they're like the kind of blush you can wear with basically anything, like even like no makeup makeup looks. Um, but because of the shade, they go, like if you're doing cool or warm, I feel like you can get away with this shade. Yeah, that's really pretty. It has like um, a very soft finish. Like, I could even put more still, so, but I won't, because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want it to be too much, but, yeah, so far, liking that. Let's do the bronze, well, not the bronzer, because it didn't come with the bronzer. Let's do the brows with the Kosas Air Brow. Let me get that. So this is the one that I own already, as you can see. <laughs> It's kind of like gross in there because I've used it over like brow pencils and stuff. So yeah, it doesn't stay clear. I actually used quite a, a lot of this. I think this was in a project and I used it for a long time. Like there's a lot of windowing in here. But let's remind myself how I like this. It smells kind of weird. Um, I'm always like a little 
what's the word, hesitant with Kosas products because I've had some that were like already expired after literally like two uses, like their lip liner. Um, so I'm always like, is this still good? Cause it's like a clean beauty brand. I don't know. So I'm just gonna apply this on my bare brows to see how I like it. I mean, I must have liked it because I used it for so long and I didn't declutter it. But I am really liking my Rose Ink brow gel, which I think, did that come in the last Sephora favorites kit I tried? Might have. Yeah, this is great so far. It's not, um, you know, feeling too tacky or anything. But it's not as matte as the Rose Ink. But we'll see how it dries. But I'm just gonna do like a simple, you know, fluffy brow today with this. Okay, so how am I gonna do this? Because I also wanna try a new eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette for another video <laughs> but we did get a mascara in this kit so I think I'll finish like my eye makeup off camera and then I'll come back to test the mascara well I, I'm trying to film three videos today I think I'm just gonna confuse myself okay um so let's wait on that but let's try the merit lipstick because I think some of you might want to see what this shade looks like on like someone has a light skin tone because it's quite deep so yeah let me just look at this lip glossy lip whatever 17 name products I can see why it's called a plump like a no burn plumping gloss because it is doing that thing where it makes your lip lines look less apparent. I don't know. I guess I'll see in editing um, if it made any difference, but it feels really nice. Like it, you can't feel it at all on your lips. But yeah, I'm gonna remove that so that I can put the lipstick on. By the way, this is my 200th video. Uh, if it, everything goes well. <laughs> um, yeah, because uh, I checked before my channel and I was at 198 videos and you all have seen one before this and this should be the 200th, so that's fun. Okay, my lips feel very soft and smooth after having that product on it. So I think that's a good one so far. Okay, let's try the lipstick and let me just remind myself what this was the Merit Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick in the shade La Femme. It feels very luxurious like I said before it even has the brand logo on the tube I don't know can you see that it says Merit I'm kind of worried about this shade <laughs> Oh, okay, it's more sheer than I was expecting, I guess. Even though it's called lightweight lipstick. It's kind of going on more like a berry brown on me. And normally I would wear a lip liner when putting on a shade like this, but whatever okay that's a shade I'm doing very bad at applying this <laughs> yeah it's quite sheer it feels just like the name says lightweight I applied that very badly but let's just ignore that so it's more like this kind of shade 
it's not my favorite shade on me to be honest but maybe with a lip liner I don't know what do we think <laughs> I'll have to keep wearing it and see I just I haven't worn a lip shade like this in a while too so it might just be that I'm not used to it but it feels really nice and it's like kind of like a satin finish it's not matte or anything so that's the lipstick and yes I will do my eye makeup off camera you will understand why once all the videos come out but yeah this is the look so far with those products so far my favorite is the Cali Ray glassy lip trip um, but I haven't tried the mascara yet so we'll see or the toner of course <laughs> anyways I will be back to show you the final look and to try the mascara okay I'm back um, with my eye makeup on which ooh, is not <laughs> It's not blended very well, to be honest, but I'm running out of time. So I wanted to try the mascara. Like I said, this is the, again, to remind myself, <laughs> the Rose Ink Ultra Black Lash Lift Serum Mascara. Let's see. Oh, so this has a, um, like, plastic brush, which I actually like, and this kind of shape. So it's like a curved edge, but there's like multiple edges, if that makes sense. I've never tried a mascara shape like this, so I don't know why I smelled it. <laughs> Let's see how this goes on. I am assuming you like comb it through with the flatter side maybe can you see what I'm doing? I don't know I hope so okay liking this so far because it seems to be more like a lengthening mascara than a volumizing and you guys know if you watch my other videos, I prefer lengthening mascaras. So I'm going in on the other side again with the flatter edge. But always the true test of a mascara is the wear. Because um, in my last video, I really liked the Ilia lengthening mascara, but I think it flaked on me. so. I'm very sad because I really liked it. Um, at least my first impressions were really good. I'm really liking this one too, actually. So I don't know what's going to happen when I try the weird side. Oh, okay. Not liking that as much. <laughs> That's adding a lot of product onto the eyelashes. So yeah, I didn't read anything about this, but from what I can see, when you use a flat edge, you're like combing your lashes through, and when you go in with the curved side, you're adding volume. And some people really love that. Like some people just love, you know, applying and applying many coats of mascara. I don't really, I really just prefer a natural as long as my eyelashes look like they're there and they're longer that's what I want from a mascara so I'm gonna go in the lower lash but with the flat like the comb side because or else it could get pretty clumpy yeah if I keep going in with the curved side, I feel like you can definitely get clumpy lashes. But that's what it's looking like. I don't hate it. I just probably would not 
would try to avoid using the curved edge unless maybe I had a very dramatic eyeshadow look on then I wouldn't mind so much but for this look it's like very light and ethereal-ish I would not want to like a volumizing mascara but anyway let me zoom me back out oops that's wrong <laughs> so this is the finished look I also put on my Rare Beauty bronzer stick because there's no bronzer in this um, kit and I did put a lip liner on because I felt like the edges were too blurred for like how deep the shade is so I just went in with the first lip liner I saw that I felt went with this which was this Bodyography Rosewood lip pencil and I feel like that cleaned it up more so yeah, um, so to review my first impressions of the kit, again, oops, love this bag, definitely keeping the bag. I need to still try the cactus water, but that's going in my skincare. Um, I really like the blush, it's very natural. I feel like maybe you could really just swipe this one on if you're into a more blushy look um, but I like the formula so far um, I hope it stays on the face because I'm not setting my face today I didn't even use a setting spray which I probably should but yeah I do like the formula of the Merit lipstick but like I said this is not like my go-to lip shade I kind of wish maybe there was a more neutral lipstick in the kit since it is a Sephora favorites kit and not everyone wants to wear this kind of shade right so yeah but happy I got to try the Merit lipsticks and I really did like this a lot the Cali Ray the name I can't remember glazed and infused plumping glassy lip trip in Taco Tuesday basically my same color of lips but that's okay because it just means I can use it with any look so yeah and the mascara I really liked it until I put the other <laughs> side on but I think um, that could also be because I just opened this and you know when you just open a mascara it's more like fluid right than it might turn out to be but first impressions I do like this mascara and the brow product it's not a first impression as you saw because I already own this but I didn't remember <laughs> but I do like the like all I have in my brows is that so you can see it really does um like hold them in place because it's been I did film another video in the meantime so it's been on a while anyway so that's my first little look at Sephora holiday kits I don't know if I'm gonna buy any more of them I don't think so. I do have my eye on some other holiday kits, but not the Sephora favorites ones. But I might talk about that in another video. But I hope you like this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope this is still available by the time I put this up. And yeah, if you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!